I know it's really hard to put into words, but what for you is so special about making movies? Um, they remain like, uh, it's like working with a family. You know, I did Apocalypto with, with Mel in Mexico. We were there for eight months, believe it or not, eight months in the jungle. Best experience of my life ever. Forget Mel was the man. He was in charge and he had to say from day to day. And uh, I remember coming back to my home here after eight months being away. And my wife, Annie, said, you're walking around bumping into bloody walls. What are you doing? And I said, look, I've, I've lived with a family for eight months, seven days a week, waking up every day and seeing them all, seeing them having dinner at night, lunch, working all day. It's hard to get away from that. It's hard to forget that, you know, and... Uh, she said, well, go and see your friends out at Panavision. Go and have a bloody talk to them. <laughs> it's a wonderful career. God knows I envy anybody who could be lucky enough to do what I did, uh, what I'm hopefully going to do a little bit more of. I don't know for sure, but uh, we'll see. Dances with Wolves is, of course, your most decorated film. You won the Academy Award for it. It, of course, was directed by Kevin Costner. The sweeping landscapes of America remain sumptuous images to this very day. After you'd made the film, you'd hoped, maybe, that this was going to be awards-worthy. But when did you start to realise this might be the one? No, it's, uh, I was actually shooting a film with Billy Crystal called City Slickers in uh, New Mexico, Arizona somewhere. And it was like just prior to the Academy Awards coming out and Billy said, you know, they're talking about this Dances with Wolves film you did. They're saying it might get a few nominations. So there was a there was a seed planted there. And I was back in Sydney when I got a call like at one o'clock in the morning from the producer, Jim Wilson, who said, mate, you're one of 12. We've got 12 nominations. Congratulations. And I pinched myself and woke up Annie and my daughter and we realised it was true. And then from then on, well, the ball started rolling and, uh, you know, the Americans really know how to celebrate success. Boy, what a time that was for a few weeks or a few months after the nominations for the awards, etc. It was just, uh, cost a lot of money, but it was good. And I hoped... Um, when when the announcement came from Glenn Close, who announced that I was up against four or five of the greatest cinematographers in the world, the guy, the Godfather, uh, Dick Tracy, some uh, Avalon. These are the top guys that all won Academy Awards, and there was me. And the name came up. And the Oscar goes to Dean Semler, Dances with Wolves. When I leapt down on my seat which Annie has never forgiven me for because I didn't kiss her and let the camera see her. And went up and I was just hoping that, hoping that my fly was done up and that my voice would work, you know, but it was, <laughs> uh, it was, it was a wonderful evening. It was just a fabulous evening. And it was sort of the one of many, and it meant a lot to me then, but it meant more to me when I got on a Qantas flight to come home. I didn't realize how important it was to Australia. I got on a Qantas flight flying home and the stewardess, the hostess came up and said, Mr. Simler, do you have it with you? And I said, and she said, the Oscar. And I said, yes, I've got it and some other awards. <laughs> uh, she said, do you mind showing it to the captain and to the to the passengers? And I said, oh, I don't do Then I got to want somebody waking them up after seven hours flying. They're all cranky, showing them a trophy. She said, I think you'll find they'll like it. And they did. It was like, uh, it was goosebumps when I walked down. Uh, it meant so much to my fellow Australians. It really did.